live from Delaware. It's the Tuesday night knit. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is your stay at home grandma, and I am not ready for bed, but in my bed because I just did a, a little review earlier. So we're going to knit as soon as everybody comes on. I got my knitting needles. I got my yarn. I got my tea. And I'm just comfortable. So how's everybody doing? I am doing fine. Just rambling about. So I hope that everybody comes on and wants to knit. I know somebody said she was coming on, but I think that I did it a little bit later than I was going to, just so that I could get some things ready and stuff like that for tonight. So anyhow, what's up? I'm just glad to be here. I had an exciting day, but I went um, to the doctors and then I went to the dollar store. I really didn't do, I, I went to the dollar store. I didn't do a whole lot of shopping or anything like that. I didn't feel like, it. although now it's not that hot, which is really good, you know, because I could maneuver in this heat. The other heat, not so much. I'm a, this is going to move for a minute, but I'm going to put this up here and um, I'm going to show you what I've done, what I have, what I, I'll show you the knitting that I'm doing. I'll show you, I showed you some blankets, except that the other girls took their other blankets. So I think I showed you hers. I have pictures of them on Facebook if you want to go there, but, um, and I guess I'll do a whole picture thing. So this is the poncho that I made, and this is just the regular garter stitch. Let's pick it. This is my poncho that I made, and it's two different tones of orange. Actually, is it three or two? Oh, it's two. So I made that. I um got involved with um a couple of knitting sites. And one of them is fairy, I'm trying to straighten this out. Fairy, my fairy treasure. Hey, Ray, you ready? And um, one of them was my fairy treasure. And she's an amazing person because she knits, but she does a lot of things that I do. She does pottery. I'm doing well. Went to the doctors and I'm doing fine. Got my heart, EKG. Um, so, you know, to send it again in today. Um, you have to go to look at the review thing to, to, to hear the story because you know I always have a bad story with everything. No, you're, you're going to be fine. Um, and um, what was I saying? Oh, so anyway, she's my fairy treasure is really, really a, a good site to go for because she's a, she's a knitter, but she's a basic knitter like I am. And I like that because like I, I had to get my memory back and things like that. Not a whole lot, but I mean, you know, remember things that I did and try to do them and blah, 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 blah. And so I just decided I'm going to stay with three or four stitches and that's it. You know, I'm still going to learn how to crochet, but I think I'm just going to crochet things like small things. I think I like, I think, I think I like knitting, although I do crochet my ends when I get finished. But anyway, let's go away. So. This is what I got. This is pure cotton. But if you have regular um, yarn, don't worry about it right now. What we want to do is learn how to knit. So we are going to take about this amount of string. Okay. And we're going to cast on 20. Okay. And there's a... Um, site on youtube called cast on you can always go to it okay because like i said my casting on is my kind of casting on okay so we're going to take this we're going to make a loop see that and we're going to loop this in just like this and i have to do it this way because like i said my hands are arthritic so 
Okay, and then we're going to loop another one in. So that's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine. That's 10. That's 11. That's 12. That's 13. That's 14. That's 15. Push it back. We have more room. That's 15. That's 16. That's 17. That's 18. That's 19. And that's 20. Okay, so that's cast it on. Did you cast it on, Ray? You need for me to take it out and go over it again? Get me some tea. Okay, so I cast on 20. Do you need for me to take it out and go, pull it out and do it over again? Okay, sure I will. Very easy, because I'm going to do, just take it out, pull it like that, and it's, it's real easy. It's on one rod, just one knit needle. All right, so again, that's one. All of this is a loop around the thumb. That's two. That's three. That's four. Am I going too fast? That's five. Loop it around your thumb, stick the needle in. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine. That's 10. That's 11, that's 12, that's 13, that's 14, that's 15, that's 16, that's 17, that's 18, that's 19, that's 20. And Ray, I don't know what NP means. I don't know acronyms, so you got to completely spell it out for me. You want me to do it again? Are you all right? Let's tell me you're all right. When we do it again, because I'll do it again. Just tell me that you want me to do it again, and I'll pull it out. No, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. Somebody had to teach me, so I pulled it out. It's easy to pull out. Okay. Put this out under your thumb like this. And then loop this under. And see how that locks it like that? Okay. Put it again under the thumb. And see how it locks it like that. So that's two. Under the thumb. Around the thumb. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, and count as you go. So you know how many that you're putting on. I have to count all the time. Nine, 
10. See how it looks? 11. 12. 13. 14. 15. 16. 17. 18, push it back so it won't go off the, off the needle. 19 and 20. If you need me to do it one more time, I'll do it one more time again. You're not getting on my nerves. So we have 20 on here. Were we ready for the next one or you want me to do it again? So while we're waiting for Ray, I'm going to show you. What do you mean by one, two, three? Tell me what you mean by one, two, three. Because I don't understand it. You want me to take it out and do it again? Okay. All right. So this is how I do it. I take it and I wrap it around my thumb like this. See? I wrap it around my thumb like this. See what I mean? And then I stick it up underneath like this. So that's the first one. Yes, I'm using both hands. I gotta do it again myself. Wrap it around my thumb with one thumb and then with the other hand, I take the needle and I put it through. Then I wrap it and I hold this one. Okay, then I wrap it around my thumb again. I stick the needle and I hold. And I have to use, yeah, you have to use both hands. The difference with crocheting and knitting is that with crocheting, it's just one hand. With knitting, it's both. So I got three in. So I got five all together. Six. Seven. See how I'm wrapping it around my finger? Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And count them. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. 17, 18, push it back so it won't slip off the, the needle, 19, and 20. Now, if you want me to do it again, I'll do it again. But you have to use both hands. At least, you know, um, and when you get the other needle, which is the other needle here, okay, then I'll show you the, the, the first stitch, which is just an easy stitch. So if you want me to do it again, I'll do it again. Don't be ashamed. Because like I said, somebody had to teach me. And there were some things that I've done that I've had to do several times before I got it right. So, you know.
So, you know what I mean? We gotta do what we gotta do. Yes, you did it. Yay. Told you you could do it. Okay. Now, that's the first part. So it's cast on and you've got 20 stitches. You got 20 all together, okay? Oh, okay. No, you can't use one hand. Okay. So now we're going to go into, we're going to knit the whole thing. Just knit, not pearl, not squirrel, not, you know, any of that. We're just going to knit. Yeah. <laughs> that happens. Okay. Now we're going to knit. Just knit. I'm just going to do what they call the gutter stitch. Okay. So we're going to stick this. And this is the harder part. The hardest part of it is the first row to get the first row in because this is the knit, the row that we put just cast it on. Okay. All right. I'm going to hold. I have to hold mine up here. You can hold yours this way. You hold what, whatever is comfortable for you, you hold your knitting needles. Okay, so I'm going to stick this through. You see how I'm sticking this through the bottom one? The first one. I bring bring this stitch around like this. Okay, let me see if I can. Can you see it? And then I bring it through. Okay, sticking it through. That first stitch is hard because it's so close. I'm gonna bring this, let me see if I can do this. Okay, I'm gonna bring this stitch around and then bring it through like that. Let's do this again. Stick this through. Bring this stitch around the needle and then pull it through. Pull it through like this, put it, put it underneath. Bring this stitch around the needle and pull it through. How are you doing? You got that so far, Ray? Bring this, bring this through like this. Bring this stitch around the needle and pull it through. So that you've got your first row when you finish it all. Make sure you push it back so it doesn't come off the needle. Okay, you doing okay? All right. We got 20. The first ones are really slow. Bring this through. Bring this stitch around the needle and pull it through. And push it back because you don't want it to come off the needle. Okay. Bring this sit, pull it through. Bring this stitch around the needle and pull it through. Next stitch, bring this stitch. I try to get it so that it doesn't get through the, the yarn because it does sometimes, okay, even for me. Okay, stitch that through, bring this stitch around the needle and pull it through. Again, put this underneath like this. See, these stitches are tight. And that's, even though I try to make them loose, they still get tight. The first one is a pain in the behind, but once you get it, it's done. Stick it through like that under, bring it over. And then just pull it through.
bring it, stick it through, bring that stitch, trying to do it so you can see it, bring that stitch around the needle, and then pull it through. A little under, bring that stitch around the needle, and then pull it through. How are we doing, Ray? Let me get something to drink and then I'll finish. Now we're going to just do the one knit stitch on this one, and then we'll do we'll do a um a a dish a dishcloth first, and then we'll do. A scarf, I think. Okay. I'm back. Okay, we only have a few more stitches. We are doing the knit stitch. So we're going to bring this under. The only thing I don't like about the cotton, the cotton, well, the cotton stuff is that you got to be careful that you don't split the, the you got to bring this stitch around, bring this stitch around the needle. Yeah, okay. See how this, we brought the stitch around the needle? Okay, then you're going to push this through like this. So that it actually makes a knitting thing. Okay, I'll try it again. So you're going to stick it underneath here like this. Gonna place this around the needle like this, and then you're gonna push it through like this, and then bring it off. Do you understand now? You're sticking a needle underneath this like this. Whoop, wait a minute. There's something wrong now. I forgot to pull it down. Okay, so you're going to take this and you're going to stick this underneath the needle like this. Okay, so that you're just going through the thread. Then you're going to bring this stitch around the needle. You're going to push this back and then you pull, pull it through this little hole right there. Okay. What do you need more time? Do you need to see it again? You need to see me do this again because I'm doing it and then we'll actually take it out and do the whole thing again. Okay, you're sticking, sticking it. Okay, so this is the fun part. This is the back part. You're going to stick this through the back part like this. You're going to bring this needle around. I mean the thread around the needle like that. And then you're just going to push this through like this. Okay. Push this through the... Okay, so this is the needle. And this is going to go in the back like this. Okay, so that you've got it underneath there. You bring this thread around. Let me bring out some more thread. You bring this thread around the needle. Okay, once you get this thread around the needle, you hold it and you bring the and you. I'm, I'm losing the women. Okay, now I got it. And then you bring this. The needle through like this so that it loops. You understand? 
Let's all take it apart and do the whole thing over again. Put this thread around the needle, pull the, ne the thread back, then push this needle through the hole and pull it off the needle. And it, casts, it gets onto the other needle. If you want me to do it over again, I'll pull the whole thing out and do it over again. Well, actually, You do? Uh huh. So you pull it, and then you pull it through the needle. And don't don't worry about mistakes, okay? Because even the best knitters in the world will tell you they make big big time mistakes. So this is the last one. So we're gonna push this through. I'm gonna bring this around, and we're gonna do that. And the, so we did the, the first row. It's easier than you thought it was, huh? I mean, you just have to remember, like for me, I do mine in fives. Okay, if I try to do, okay, so I'm doing this, for, we're doing this right here. It takes 40 rows to make a dishcloth. Okay, now, I have to write it down because I can't keep up with the numbers in my head. And don't think because I had the stroke, no, because I never could. So I wrote everything down when I did it. Okay, so we'll, well, that's the first row. So now we're going on to the second row. And we're gonna take our time with it. So again, just the, this is just an knit stitch. Push this through, bring this thread around the needle and pull it through. Pull it around the needle and pull it through. So that we're knitting and pull it through. We're on our second round. You need for me to keep telling you? Or are you doing okay? Because we're on our second row now. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of colors. It's all one, one. It's one thing, but it's a line of different colors. That's all it is. You're going to find that when you start shopping for yarn, and I'll, wait a minute, I'll just show you. Like, for instance, these are what, this is what I'm working on. Okay, and this is all multicolored. This is all one thing of yarn. And I'm working on a scarf right now. And it's all different colors. So it looks like it's, I don't, I, there are, I will show you tricks or ways that you can combine different colors later, you know, different yarns, but this is all just one, one yarn. So again, stick that through, bring that yarn around, and pull it through. Okay. 
How you doing, Ray? Because we're on row two. Actually, three different colors, I think. It is not as hard as you thought it was, is it? Was it? We're almost finished with row two. Now, you can always go back and look at it. Because I'm going to do six rows with you. Okay. Because I'm going to get off about 830 because you know I have to take a shower and stuff again. How was your day, Ray? That's what you do. I've dropped so many stitches in a lifetime, and I just look at it and go, okay. And what you do is you go back to the, you know, and review it, this one. Go on. Cast on, there's a, a video on of called Cast On. And look at several different beginner knitters, knitter videos, you know, and then, you know, you'll get the hang of it. Don't just watch me, because I mean, we'll be doing some projects together. But that way you'll, you know, just and keep doing it. But yeah, I um, I've had so many needles fall out and things and drop stitches and things like that. But I've learned, you know, over the years, I mean, to just bite my tongue and do it back. So we've done two. Okay, so that's two. We're gonna go to six stitches. Okay, so now we're gonna do three. And you'll be able to, once you do this first one, you'll be able to knit, knit one in a day in a couple of hours. So this is three. And this right here, okay, now, Whatever one you use, you can wash dishes with, you can dust with it, whatever. But if you really want to get like dishcloths and things like that, I would say get the cotton ones. And this is the, I, I think they still sell this, but they do sell have a cotton one. So this is sugar and cream yarn. My problem with going and buying yarn now is the fact that you go to Michael's and you go to Joanne's Fabric. Joanne's Fabric in the fabric department has all those women who sew and stuff like that that know about needles and such and such. But for yarn, not so much. So, you know, I mean, because they're used, and there might be where you're at, there might be some, some, some stores you know, for knitters and crocheters with yarn and stuff like that. Those small stores know about that, but there aren't many small stores anymore. I know that I don't know of any here. Okay. Um, there used to be a few of them when I first moved here years ago. I've been here like 35 years. So, you know, but now there's um, the big stores, Michael's and Hobby Lobby. I don't know with, and I haven't been to Hobby Lobby yet, so I don't know. Hey, Bob's, how you doing? We knitting. Ray's knitting. She got it down. Okay. 
but I haven't been to Hobby Lobby yet, so I really don't know. I'm going Sunday for the first time, and it's and it's like three towns away from me, so it's it's a little bit of an about a half an hour or so to get there. No, it's more like an hour, I think. But um, Michaels and Joanne's Fabric, and there used to be AC Moore. They really they hire young kids, so they don't really unless some kid happens to go in there and know about knitting. So they don't know the consistency of knitting or, you know, what's what yarn to buy and everything like that. My suggestion to all of you is to go to not just me, the one that has actually even other than my mom has really taught me about yarn consistencies and stuff like that was there's things that I didn't even know. You know, is um to um, go to My Fairy Treasure. She's on YouTube. She'll tell you the consistency of yarn, the different types of yarn to use, um, the wool, those kinds of things. The fact is that some people are allergic to wool, so how to take care of it before you start knitting with it, like wash it and stuff like that because of the dyes and stuff like that. She'll tell you the fiber consistency, everything. She's really, really good. Now, she and I are we're both going to actually learn how to crochet this year so anyway let's go back so this is row three so we're going to stick this through bring it around pull it out and we're doing row three mobs and if you want to you can go back after and look at it but i also recommend that you go on to cast on and my fairy treasure Actually, my fairy treasure, um, we're going to, I don't think it's this week, I think it's next week, but she'll come on Friday. She comes on Friday at, I get her at about 11, 11.30. But then she has, you know, her replay. But we're going to be knitting a um, scarf that I actually started. How you doing, Ray, with this? around so we're almost finished with row three Okay, all right. All right, well, we're, we're gonna do more next week. Next, every Tuesday we'll come and we'll, when we will, um, I'm actually gonna stop then because every Tuesday we'll come and we'll, I'm, I'm not gonna do anything else to this. I've done the three rows then, so next week I'll come and I'll do some more and we can just, you know, until we get it right. And then we'll make a little dish rag, dish cloth, and then we'll make a scarf. And then we'll make some mittens, which is much easier to do than what you've really seen it is. How you doing, mobs? What's up? But knitting is is it's knitting knitting is really really easy and it's fun and it's actually relaxing, okay. 
and you get and once you get the hang of it, like I said, I'm a basic knitter. I do knit and purl and a couple of other stitches. I really don't do a lot of those fancy stitches and stuff like that. I did some fancy stitches years ago, but after the stroke, I just needed to learn how to put my whole life into perspective. So it looks just as good. And like I said, I've made a lot of things and I'm coming along. So anyway, if you like this, like, share, and subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section. Oh yeah, buy me a coffee. It's down in my, in my description box. So Mobs and Ray, we done for a while. We'll do it again next week. I love you all. Take care. God bless. Stay safe. Hold your families close. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.